Yeah. Egg housekeepers can be responsible for large numbers of staff. Salaries can go up to fifty thousand pounds. Right in and say, you live locally. I don't, not thoroughly, of course. Around 76 miles from here. Right. About a 40 minute journey. Close to the airport. Small talk aside, it's down to the cleaning. What do you think an average time to, to clean the rooms would be? I'd say slightly like 45 minutes. You actually do a bit of cleaning yourself? I do. Mm. Yes, yesterday I made 12 beds, and my back knows about the sister. Come on. Oh, God. Would you... Oh, I'm going to ask this in the right way. Um, Ruth steps in. If I was an employee, I'm um, coming to see you. I would be slightly frightened about the amateur image you present and the way you talk about things because I would be thinking, oh my goodness, am I going to have trouble with these owners not knowing how to run a hotel? But it's down to a musician and an art historian two hotel novices to choose the best candidate for this senior position. I'll ask the question for you. Do you think you could work with these two people? I can manage in chaos. Yeah, the not chaos. Kent and Claire's interview style may be a little unorthodox, but they are very personable people, and I think, funny enough, that's probably the right way to go about it. Would you find it difficult? Perhaps knowing more than they did about things? Not at all. You could be on my team anyway. <laughs> if that isn't the right answer, I don't know. I just... <laughs> okay, if you don't enjoy it, I will. <laughs> I really like the, the last candidate. I think that she was good. And uh, we're going to get in touch with her. So with one key staff member earmarked, it's back to the building work. And in spite of Ruth's concerns, Kent is confident he'll pull off his first wedding. I do agree that uh, we've done things in she called it the jazz.